What is up YouTube? Welcome to another episode. This is Training 2 Team of the Year Hybrid episode 29. And uh, we have sold one item. Uh, I've just put all the players up for sale and uh, Lucas was very quick to sell. Probably could have got a little bit more out of him but um, still great profit. Uh, just getting shy of 10,000 coins and that's the thing I usually do on a lot of these players. You know if they're worth say 10 to 50 something like that just put them under 9. It looks visually better and it's easier for them to be sold. Um, again, another one player has sold pretty quickly, and that is a Thomas Muller in a 352 at CDM for 9,000 coins. Again, a great, tidy profit on him, and someone we have traded a lot during this series. Um, definitely a go-to player and uh, a great great batch of players to uh, trade with uh, as you can see we have sold around 13 items the first of which is eduardo vargas who sold for 4.9k at striker his prices are coming down a little you know he was worth mid five and now he's just going under that uh rafael sabis for 5.8k in striker that's not too bad then we go over to kaisuke honda and um not sure what position he is i think striker uh, but he sold for eight and a half thousand coins which isn't too bad again a player we have really traded a lot of and the last couple of episodes someone i've always been checking ronaldinho sold for 5.9k in the striker position again that's decent for him uh danny sold for 8,000 coins in the cdm or the converted uh, to cdm position which uh is pretty good in a you know a relevant formation eduardo vargas sold for 4.8k as you as already shown his prices are dropping uh, under that 5k wellington and nem sold for 5.8k converted to striker in a 4.42 carlos eduardo sold for 7.1k in the striker position uh, someone we've traded a lot with recently, especially in the converted striker position. Wellington them, another converted to striker, sold for 5.7k in a 4-5-1 formation. Arda Turan sold for 5.4k in striker. Not his most fashionable fashionable position but you know these players still do sell for decent money. Uh, 4.8k for Eduardo Vargas. Um, I think that's the third one in this part. Musa Dembali sold for 9.7k in the CDM position in a really nice 4-1-2-1-2 formation. And last is Oscar, who sold for 7.1k in the converted to striker position. As you can see, we're nearly hitting 1.6 mil. And uh, we've got a couple of players that we've bought that we're going to put up as well. We're doing that last push, you know, um, getting very close to building our team. Put uh, Carlos Eduardo up for 7,500 coins uh, for an hour. Picked him up for just over 4,500. 2.5k for Pastore. Going to put him up at 6,500 coins. Next play is Morales. And we've traded him about one or two times. Bought him for 3.1. Going to sell him for 6.8. Um, a decent profit if he does sell uh, for him. Not the most sought after player though. That's the issue. 2,000 coins for Ronaldinho at striker. Going to hopefully get 6,500 coins. Uh, Musa Dembele, this one at striker in a 4 1 2 1 2 formation. Gonna put him up for 5.8. We pick up a Amaro Zarati, uh, a guy that's really been creeping up in every episode. 2.1k for him, putting him up for 5k. And these are all for one hour. So um, mostly I'll put him up for 12 hours, and it, it will show you how easy these are to sell in an hour. 5,000 coins, gonna put him up at 9.8. And um, a Wesley Schneider as well we picked up in a converted to centre mid position for 7.2k. I think that's a nice little bargain. We're going to put him up for 12,000 coins. Another Dries Mertens. You know when you've traded one in form and you get a knack of knowing his price. 15,750 for him and just putting him shy of 20,000 coins. That's an easy couple K profit if he does sell. 6.1k for Carlos Eduardo. Put him up for 8.9 in the converted CDM position. Next is Adele Tarapt, and uh, we picked him up for 5.1, going to put him at 7.4. As you see, his price is a bomb, and it used to be like 8.9. Um, Lucas in a 3.52 for 4.6, um, going to put him up at 9.9. .9. He should be probably around 10.250, but it's easier just going under the 10, to be honest. Insigne, 2,000 coins that we picked up centre mid, and we're hopefully going to get a little bit more from him uh, for around 6.9, but there's hardly any on the market, so I might have to change that. Relisting a couple players that didn't sell, um, the Honda and I think a Carlos Eduardo, so just making their prices a little bit lower. I do know that the market crash is happening at the moment, so I'm literally just buying to get rid of now it's not to make massive profit gerald for seven and a half k what a bargain that is we're going to put him up for 12 750 and jadson at striking a 41212 for 3000 coins going to put him up at 6.9 so as i said the market crash was happening and i really wasn't um 
you know, I didn't really know the method I wanted to, to choose or implement in this uh, in this section of trading. Um, I was looking for converted players, but their market was just so dried up. I thought I'd move on to something different. And what I was looking for is under 600 discard. I know I wasn't going to make a lot of money from this. I mean, it was just to test out this method, just bidding for anyone up to the 550. Um, I did the minimum 200, so you don't get the non uh, the non shiny players. And that's what you're looking for is shiny players and bid up to 550 and hope Hopefully, you know, if you discard them, you're going to make profit. If you sell them for a little bit more, you're going to make even more profit. So that was what I was looking for. But the um, the console was really screwing up. So what I did, I went on the tr uh, the web app, which I did 99.9% .9 of this uh, series on. And um, I bought this mash around it for 3.3k. Thought I was going to make a massive profit and uh, just realized his price is bombed to around 4k if he does sell for that. Same thing with uh, Pepe. Bought him for 6,000 coins thinking, ah, easy, you know, 8k. Now he's only worth 6.9. And this this was the issue. I was looking at these players to trade with and uh, because people get an amount of packs, their prices were so um, indifferent, you know, like for one minute they could have been worth 8k and now they're worth, you know, just under 7 and um, they were a dodgy market to trade with and, um, and a reason why I didn't really trade too much over the um, price or the market crash. Pepe, as you can see there, has sold for 6.9k. Uh, we've also sold a Sesenyon or Sesenyon um, for 6.4k. I think that was the striker version as well. And as you see, we're up to 1.7 mil. Carlos Eduardo sold for 8.4k in the CDM position. I'm not 100% sure if these all sold in the hour. Uh, I don't think they did. Some of them, I, I think I had to relist. Adult Trout sold for 8.9k. Um, that's a great little profit on him. Morales was actually pretty easy to sell. I was I was a little bit worried at how uh, hard he would be to sell, but 6.4k uh, for him in the converted striker in a really good formation. Arda Turan for 4.4k in the uh, striker position in a 4-3-3. Then we go on to hopefully then the next player, which is Amaro Zarate. Um, in a 4-2-3-1, I think someone might have put a formation card on him, but we sold him for 5,000 coins at striker. Uh, Ronaldinho sold for 4.9k a striker. And you're thinking the card to get a center forward to striker is probably more than 4.9. So um, picking him up is, you know, under what, you know, it should be. And that's the issue with the market crash at the moment. Look at that, 5,000 coins for Pastore at striker. These prices are just bombing to be honest there's so much competition in these converted areas and just something i think it's, it's dodgy to trade at the moment i prefer when the market is stable uh javier mascherano sold for 3.9k so uh, he sold for exactly what we put him up for from the web app adult trap sold uh, for a, a good profit of 7.4k um, again a really tidy player to trade with i think this one was a striker version and the other one was the cm or cdm version wesley snyder sold for 11750 i think someone put a 41212 card on him um, next is Carlos Eduardo for 6,000 coins at striker and you've know we've sold Carlos Eduardo a couple of times in a really good formation like a 4-3-3 he only goes for 6k uh, that shows you how much the market crash is happening 6,000 coins for Carlos Eduardo again um, in a 3-5-2 and uh, it's, 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 it's disappointing because like a week or so or a couple of days ago I could have got 8-9k for him uh, Steven Gerrard sold for 12 at 750 he actually kept his price quite well um, uh, Embark Basufa sold for 5.5k in the striker in a 3.52. A, another Basufa this time though at CDM, a more fashionable position for him. 7,500 coins for him and a uh, great little profit on him. Lucas finally sold. I think I put him 9.9. .9. I had to relist him a couple times. Uh, I sold him for 9.7k eventually in the CDM position. Danny, it's striker in a 4.1212 for 6,500 coins. Um, again, you know, his prices have been dropping a little. Jadson at striker sold for 6.4k in a 4 1 2 1 2 formation. This one obviously converted from Cam to striker. Dries Mertens sold for 19,000 coins. And as I said, you know, once you know a player's in form prize, just keep checking them. He, I've done him or I've traded him like three, four, maybe five times. All, always made good profit on him. 5.8k for Dembele. And last but not least is Sessignon for 5.5k converted to striker.
so that's all of them that we have um sold quite a lot of them we're up to 1.7 mil which I, I think at this point in time i should be fine of building a squad and uh we're just doing the last little bit of trading i think the last little push in the next episode and then after that we're going to be building this team hopefully you've enjoyed the series please do give it a like um thanks for all the support in the other episodes do subscribe to my channel check out my previous videos and links to my twitch twitter and facebook in the description below and i'll see you tomorrow peace